Sorry, in your example or scenario, is it like a society where we're not allowed to get divorced? Or it's just like modern that? society. Modern society where you're saying there's a plague of men who will lie to women in order to get sexual access. It's like, okay, but if they lie to the woman and say, hey, I love you, but I'm willing to marry you and take care of you for the rest of your life in order to get access to that sex, how is that still not superior to the idea that they could just hump you and dump you? I don't, like, I don't get that. Like, I suppose... That's super, you could say that's superior, but how do we get there? And why do you think it's just Yeah, but, but that's not really the question of how we get there. We have, first have to establish that that has to be superior to what we now have. I'm not committed to an answer on that. You're not committed to an answer on it. So you, don't, you think it would be inferior? That if men were marrying women for access to the sex, that that would be an inferior system to what we have now? Or they just lie to him and then bang him and there's no consequences whatsoever? I don't see why it would be superior. If, if Well, because they would be in this, because your, your issue is they're lying, right, so that they can have sex and there's no social repercussions and they're lying about wanting a long-term relationship. But if they marry you for the sex, they're definitely committing to a long-term relationship. Okay, I, okay, yeah, I see your point with that. Um, yeah. Okay, sure. So then I guess... So, so, so then, like, female chastity, which should really be our kind of our number one thing we're looking at here, right? I think I, I still don't necessarily agree. Oh, okay. Because Not I necessarily? Still think, I think part of the problem is still the fact that women are feeling undervalued. And yeah, I get that they may still... But, it would, so but, you, it would, but you would agree it would be vastly superior, right? I don't necessarily agree, because you, you marry somebody who just values you for sex, and then you're if that's the only thing and you're still not feeling valued well what do you person. think men value women for do you think what, what do you think that they're valuing them for like their credit cards what do you think they value women they value women because they want to have sex with them they want them to have their children that's the main value that women have to admit like what 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 do, what do you think the big value is women are bringing to the table absent sex i actually want to know the answer to that question this is such a point love and friendship Love and friendship, yeah. you can't, you can get friendship from men. Why do you need friendship from women? It's friendship with all these extra benefits, sharing your whole life with somebody, having a child with them, merging worldviews. So sex. Huh? Sex. Shit. So, so, so I mean, a, so, so instead of, when you're saying friend, the distinction between you being a friend with a guy and, and you having a wife is your wife is your friend who you also have sex with. It sounds like the value here still seems to be the sex <laughs> like uh, because you can have all those other conditionals with other people but the sex seems to be the thing you are putting a value emphasis I, on. i disagree and i don't think sex should be the primary value because sex is kind of replaceable i think the the value that you get in a relationship is that merging of a like world views what do you bring to the table what do i bring to the table yeah in a relationship um, I think I bring a unique perspective, and I can help you live a more fulfilling life. You, and you think you you think men date you because you bring them a <laughs> unique perspective? Yeah, I think I have given my partner a unique perspective, and I think I've okay. I think I've helped him to start li living a more fulfilling life, and to, and I've led him to being a better person. Doesn't every human being on planet Earth have a unique perspective? No. No, they're not. No. <laughs> No, How could two human beings not have a you unless you're okay. saying all human beings are not unique? Sure, I would say a lot of people have. You could say down to the. There's some differences between people, but I think there's a lot of overlap and shared worldviews. So you want to be valued. So you're one of those. Um, I want to be valued for more than just my sexuality, right? Yeah. Okay. I think what do you want to be valued do. for? What? Sorry. What do you want to be valued for? Um. Yeah, I guess that's a good question that I don't have. I want to be valued for who I am as a person. Okay, but why wouldn't you be valued for who you are as a person and the highest value that the man has with you is still the sex? I don't get that. I still value you as a person. I think you're great. I think you're wonderful, this and that. But the not having sex thing, that's a deal breaker. That seems reasonable. I think I would want to be... I don't think I would want sex to be at the top of that list. Why? What I'm valued for. Would you want like a woman to value you most for the money that would you Would I want my woman to value having sex with me more than anything? Oh, it's terrible. Oh no, what would I do? What would I ever do if a woman only valued it's her top priority having sex with me? Oh, 
Oh, it's terrible. How would I ever get through the day? She didn't love my big brain and big mind, and she only valued sex as her highest priority with I don't know how I could uh, live. I don't know. Maybe that shows that's how you value yourself is what, for what you have to offer Wait, I have, a, I have a question for you. <laughs> would you date a guy who, uh, who lived with his parents? Yes. You would? Yeah. My first boyfriend, did, well, he didn't live with his pa parents. Yeah, you were a little, well, you were 29. That was when you were 23. Sure. So you want to have kids one day? Yeah. Okay. So you'd be totally cool dating a guy who lived with his parents? Well, my prerequisite for having kids, because I never wanted kids until my current partner, was that if we're going to have kids, I need to be able to be at home and raise the kids, because I don't want them raised by the S system. So you want to be a stay-at-home mom? I would try to work from home. What kind of income? You live in, don't you live in one of the highest cost of living areas in California, you said you're from the Bay? Mm -hmm. Isn't it like? We're outside of the Bay, so it's a little lower. But okay, yeah. well, in any case, California is still high cost of living. So, and you don't want to be working, so your partner has to work, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That is, so, that is the requirement if we're to have kids. I don't, and I don't think that's unreasonable because I think it's important right. for a mom to raise So a then child. you look to a man to provide. Sure. Okay. Don't you think that in the same, the same way you feel about your, and I actually think it's a bit of a straw men that men only care about sex, but let's just grant it. So the same way that you think men think that about women, you think that about men. You simply look at men as how they can provide for you. I don't. He, my partner wants to have children, and that was the agreement that we had. It's like I'm okay with you having wouldn't a kid. date him. You would not date him if he was not able to provide. If for he you. didn't want kids, let's say he did. He does want kids, and that is the condition. In so order there's for a condition. Us, in order for us to have kids. Right. I wouldn't leave him if he decided, like, sorry, I can't do that. What if he still wanted to have kids, but he couldn't provide? I would say sorry. I'm not having kids. Okay, so if, men, if women are sex objects, then men are success objects. I am not valuing him on his success. It's the practicality reason for raising a child. Like I don't wanna be the kind of per person that just has okay. the, the school system raising a child. We've been lingering on this for too long. Uh, one last thing, you'd said that men, you take an issue with men lying in order to get sex, correct? Yeah. So for example, a man claiming that he wants long-term commitment, but he doesn't sure. in order to get sex. Yeah. That would be lying. Mm -hmm. Have you ever told somebody you would love them forever? Yes. Have you told your current partner that? Yes. Is it possible something could happen down the line where you guys no longer? No. You think it's impossible that you guys, <laughs> yeah. you guys are going to stay together? Okay. Forever? Well, you, you, you can agree though, right? That it's logically possible. Whether you think that it would actually happen is logically possible. Like Wolverine, logically possible. But it's but Wolverine doesn't exist, right? Uh, do you, okay, I don't know let me ask you a question. question. Do you think that there are couples out there where either the man or the woman has said to their partner, "I will love you forever," yeah, and then they broke up or got divorced? Has that happened? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, these are just kind of statements of affection that people say to each other. Okay. They're not they're not binding really. Sure. Okay. So if you tell someone I will love you forever, that's not like binding. You're not obliged to actually love them forever even though you've said it. Sure. Okay, but so your argument is is that well, men claim like these men say they want long-term relationships, but then they end up not or they break up with a girl. Sure. Okay. So like I, I'm just trying to understand, like, men make these, uh, like, comments in an effort to, I, what is your actual argument? I'm just confused here. Men lie? Is that the argument? Not men, all of them, but enough of them. Okay. Yeah. So, do, so women who wear makeup in an effort to be more uh, physically appealing to men. Is that a deception? Yeah. Okay. 
Are women manipulating <laughs> men when they say they'll take that vow, I'll love you forever through sickness and health, and then they initiate 80% 80, 80 of divorces? That's a good point. I don't think necessarily. I, I think there are people that will what if lie. they lie just to secure those resources now securing alimony mm. now securing child support yeah and then uh, they just said eh, i it's don't love you argument. my feelings have changed i don't love you anymore if that's they their broke their vow if that is their intention when they're marrying the person is that like i don't actually have a intention to follow through with you yeah that's wait what if that's not their intention initially but wouldn't that still be a manipulation if because they broke their vow so if, like, when they're getting married, the person in her mindset who's marrying this man is, and eventually going to divorce him, her mind is that I love this man and I'm going to marry him and I want to spend the rest of my life with him and I'm not going to leave him. And then she gets married to him and then she decides later on down the line that she or realizes that she doesn't actually love no, him. No, what I think happens, I don't know if it's that, I think women hit like a certain age, they realize, oh shit, I want to have kids. So I wasted my 20s doing whatever. Now who's around? Okay, this guy will do. I want my kids. They marry him. They uh, make that vow, that vow forever. And then their feelings change. I'm not in love with him anymore. So they are like. I mean, I think, yeah, you could probably make an argument that that's a similar case where the woman is probably not being totally honest with herself about her motives him. with that so man. Or she's manipulating yeah. him for his resources. Yeah. Wait, so hold on, coming back to this. So did you say that it would constitute SA if a guy lied to a woman about his intentions, his romantic intentions, I don't, in I order would, to get her sorry. into bed? So I, he says, baby, I want to be in a long-term relationship with you. He fucks her and then dips. Is that SA? I wouldn't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that, but I would say at the very least it's cruel. And it's going to give people a, a false impression. I think okay. one of the worst things about SA and why a lot of women say they fear it is because that feeling of being completely used and dehumanized and disregarded as a person. And so when somebody's doing that to you just because they want sex, I think it can have a similar impact and it's going to impact your worldview of men and it's going to push women into this more radicalized position against men. Okay. Well, so then would it be equally wrong then for a woman to uh, bait a man... Uh, into being physically attracted to her through use of makeup and other cosmetics? No. Hmm. Okay. What uh, about women who manipulate men to get money online? How about that? Yeah, I think that's, that's just as bad. I think that would be like probably pretty traumatic to be a man and you think that a woman wants to be with you and they're giving you all these signs and then they just get some money from you and they dip. I think that would be equally traumatic. Uh, all right, well, I do have to uh, move things on a little bit here. We're going to get to some of Lizzie notes. We've got to come back to some of your some video reactions here. Um, let's see. And then let's do, actually, I have, two, I have one chat here. Kill of cereal, get sun, get some, stay hydrated, stay alive, live within your means. Keep life in perspective, nurture a skiller other than your body. Never let a strumpet in your bed, my best to all. O sevens in the chat, kill of cereal. Appreciate it, man, hope you have a good night. So we're gonna, actually we have another chat coming up here. We have Stifler. Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10, starting with you, go ahead. I'm a 10. Okay. Five. Ten. <laughs> Uh, hold on one Chris second. Chris donated $200. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, ladies. Keep fighting, Andrew. I wouldn't be able to keep my stable of side chicks if it wasn't women like you co-signing the BS that I tell them. Pump and dump feminists on birth control for life. Jesus. Hmm. Who, uh, show of hands, who's on birth control? I've got the IUD. Just kidding. Okay. Um, all right. Cool. Uh, okay. So here, I'll just, since we got semi uh, kind of cut off there, Stifler, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. 10. Five. 10. Nine. Two. Six. Six. Uh, six. Okay. So we got two tens and the nine. Uh, okay. Um, Oh, oh yeah, uh, I give myself a five. Andrew? Uh, I would say I'm a four. Okay. Question for the 10 and the nine. Do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years as yes. compared to now? Okay, so you're 25. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you'll be better looking at 35 as compared to now at 25? For sure. Yes. And you're uh, 22, right? So better looking at 32 than now at 22. Let's let's uh, double it. 20 years. Better looking at 45 as compared to now at 25. Mm, no, I think like late 30s are the real prime. Late 30s are the yeah. prime of women. If you take okay. care of yourself. Okay. Someone in their mid 30s. Uh, still beautiful, but not more beautiful. Okay. So that's what's gonna. Yeah, Into the mic. Like Into the mic. Oh. Um. I think if I take care of myself and my skin and my health, yes. Okay, so the, the thing is you gotta look at this from a, a view of all else being equal. So assuming you could do all those things right now and you had all those things right now, mm -hmm. you had the good skin, the good health, et cetera. Right. Would you be better looking now at 25, as, or sorry, 22 as compared to 42? You're saying would I look better now than compared to Yeah, that's 42? the question. Yeah, I, th I feel like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Better now or? Yeah, better now. Okay. All right. So wait, better at 45, you said? Brooklyn? I'm sorry, what? You said better at 45? No, I said. Or was it you? No, we, we both said better at 35. Better than at 35. 45. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have you guys heard of a thing called aging? Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm 35 right now, and I do not look better than I did at 25. And I'm 36, and I don't look better than I did at 26. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't drink alcohol, and I take care of myself, so I have high hopes. Good genes. Are you on the, uh, are you on the old soy diet? I don't she's eat soy a, at all. She's vegan. I don't eat soy she's at all. She's got that vegan diet. No? No soy? No. It's, it's, that's well, very so, rare for vegans to not encounter soy in at least some of their diet. I used to eat soy. I don't eat soy anymore. I have a question. Have you guys ever had any pro, uh, cosmetic procedures? No. You've never had lip filler? No. Brooklyn? I swear. I just... Uh, Brooklyn, I swear. don't lie to me. I swear. You had a little lip filler. I didn't. Back in I wouldn't. Day. Didn't. No. You I, had a little lip filler, Brooklyn. I, I would tell Brooklyn, you if I did. Come on. Be honest. Be honest. This is it's, it's girls here. I it's the ladies. It you're over, you're, it's the ladies. I over I overline my lips. No lip filler. None. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to investigate your Instagram again. Okay. You can. Um, I just learned how nothing. To... No. Okay. Um, the only thing I ever wanted, like before, I used to want a BBL, and I wanted. Uh, I don't want it don't anymore. I'm not. But this is when I was like 18. I wanted a BBL, and I wanted veneers, but I don't want either of those anymore. You wanted, and I'm I'm okay. honestly like I think everyone should do what they want to do, but at the end of the day, I'm anti surgery and I'm anti filler. Anti surgery, anti filler. Yeah. Do you think it's a little lip filler or I don't know? It looks a little. You know what I mean? The bottom. No, the top. Oh no, I think the bottom looks. Really? Kind of, yeah. I don't know, Brooklyn. We're we're doing a. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I don't need to see that. Uh, no lip filler, never. I know. Okay. Wear makeup Wait, question. When it comes to makeup, are you a 10 without makeup? I say I'm always a 10. You're always a 10. Your makeup, no your makeup. Your confidence has to be there. You're a 10 okay. if you believe you're, like, it's, it's, a, it's not necessarily, oh, my God, I'm the best looking woman in the world. It's just I'm going to walk around and I'm going to be confident always because why not? But isn't that what a 10 you're saying you are? You're the most attractive woman to walk this earth amongst no. the other 10s? No, I just said if you give me a scale 1 through 10, I'm going to rate myself a 10. Why would I lowball myself? Not be lowballing like yourself, but just like honesty. looking at, I mean, that's what we do as women. We can gauge and we look and we see and you can say, yeah, that woman's prettier than me. But oh, if you're yes, saying, of like, course there's women yeah, so more then, beautiful than me. Well, then how would you be a 10 if someone's more beautiful? Because there could be other there be multiple tens. tens. Yeah, there could be multiple That's what tens. I just said. So she's at par with all the rest of the 10, so all the most beautiful women in the world. I think it mixes with personality, too. But that's not what it's the question It's just looks, is. though. We're talking about looks. Yeah, I think there's multiple 10s. I think yeah. Well, there yeah, can be multiple. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Oh there can so, be more than one 10, but exactly. you can't be, like, more attractive. If you're a 10, you are the most attractive. I feel like I'm God's creation. He did his thing. What can I say? Okay. Um, yeah, but I'm, by your standard, God's creation too, and I'm not as pretty as you. 
that's just that's objective but that's how you feel about yourself no no that's i think how if i were to ask all these men in this room who's prettier you'd be prettier but that would just be them like beauties in the eye of the beholder but maybe someone would think you're more attractive than me well i would question their (laughs) (laughs) super bad i wouldn't question it girl i would just take the compliment and run with it i would run (laughs) <laughs> I mean, she I mean, is kind of not, I, I mean, you're certainly self-aware, Liz. Uh, I do think it would be the case if we lined up a hundred or a thousand or a million men and we gave them a binary choice between, uh, and Liz, love you to death, between Liz and like, uh, sure, you, <coughs> I think a lot of them, no offense to no. Liz here, just looking at things objectively, mm-hmm. they, I would say vast majority of the men would pick you of course and i am still a confident person and i'm not saying yeah. i'm not pretty and neither is brian but i'm not as pretty as you the two things can exist at the same time well yeah i'm just not going to change my aunt. i just is don't Lizzo think i a 10? but you rated no, yourself I, a 10 and you rated yourself a 2 i think, it's, two, so I think it's fair for her to like call, call herself a 10 right it's fair to happened. you can call yourself that there's nothing wrong with that but I, I would like to just kind of quickly follow up with a quick question that i'm wondering um do you believe that narcissism is a real thing? Yes, and I think I have some of that in me, for real. Yeah, so I was just going to ask you um, just a, a very quick follow-up. Are you the prettiest woman on planet Earth, do you think? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. Have you ever seen a woman prettier than you absolutely. who's famous? Absolutely. I see beautiful okay. women Okay, and time. you name one of these pretty girls who is famous. Famous? That is prettier okay. than you. Uh, well, I like Ruby Rose. Okay, is she prettier than you? Yeah. Okay, what are the features that make her prettier than you? I just think she has a very unique look, and uh, as far as I know, or like, I think she's natural, so I, I, you know, I give it up to her. <clears throat> okay, natural so shape, if she's face, a 10, body. if she's a 10, being the highest standard of beauty you can possibly think of, then where do you place yourself? Okay, so you guys want me to give myself a nine? I think you're a 10. I think you're no, a 10. No, no, well, I'm just, I think I'm just, it's I'm just, I'm just asking you. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know what you think. Yeah, she's no, a 10, I but I just, I just want to finish real quick. I, I don't think all the women in this room are 10s you. at all, but I, I think she, based on features, has... I th- okay, is great. 10. Yeah, great, great. I just, I just want to know, though, if, if this chick, Ruby, okay. is a 10, she's the highest standard of beauty you can think of, then where would you put yourself? I understand what you're saying because you're saying if she's better than you, how are you guys both tense? I understand. Yeah, that, that wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense, right? Yeah. Okay. So, but I just am not going to go back on my answer of I. It just regardless, I understand you guys are saying, oh, it's looks, it's not personality. But I'm if someone tells me to rate myself out of ten, why am I going to give myself a lower number? No, I I, I totally understand so that's what my you're standpoint. saying. So yeah, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. You're saying like um, from the perspective of confidence building. Right. Yeah. It would be unrealistic for you as a confident woman to rate yourself as less than how you feel like you are, which is a 10, which is everything. It's beauty and personality and everything together. Right. Mm-hmm. But we're just purely looking at an objective standard, which you clearly must have because you think that this other girl's prettier than you. So if she's objectively, a hang on, more hang on. So if she's objectively a 10, where would that put you? I guess that would put me as a nine, but I'm going to still sit here. Like if we had to do that, you know, I'm like, okay, fine. But I just, if someone's going to ask me a one through 10, I'm going to give myself a 10. No matter what? No matter what. Just because even if I didn't look the way I did and I looked another way, even like all of you guys, like it, it makes me, I mean, I know. They're all tens? I, yes, I would. Well, I would hope that you guys would all feel like you're a 10. Is there any girl in that room who's yeah. prettier than you? I think we're all beautiful. Is there any girl in that room who's prettier than you? I'm going to get it up to my sister, but... <laughs> Wait, Andrew. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm a, I'll get so to if my your sister. sister. So then if your sister is a 10, what does that make you? So fine, I guess we're all nines, but I yeah. just, like, I'm saying... Wait, you can't all be nines. If you're the prettiest girl in the room and you rate yourself a nine, then you'd have to rate at least other girls an eight, right? I, would also rate I didn't ever say I was the prettiest girl in the room. But okay, are you I, the prettiest girl in the room? I didn't, no, I didn't say that. Yeah, I know, but are you? No. Okay, who is? I, I think my sister is beautiful. Okay, so she's the prettiest girl in the room. But so you have to remember, I'm looking at my... Hang on. So that would mean you're less pretty than her. So if she's a 10, then that would make you a what? 
she could be a 10 too but we could both be 10s but it's just like i think my sister's the most beautiful just off the fact that she's my sister and i know her and i'm in her face every day and also gonna give it up to her for being a natural woman i just look at her with so much love that i like if i'm looking around and i see beauty it's she's the first person i look at but that's just okay. because beauty's in then the if your world. sister is a 10 if your sister is a 10 in comparison to all the other girls in the room where would where would that put them she- okay just so like we don't have to go on with this conversation because i feel like i've already said my sample <laughs> because you're absolutely she's- loathe answering questions in an honest no, no, way no, i'm just i'm just it's like it's not gonna you're not gonna let it go so if say if i say my sister's the prettiest in the room she's a 10 and then fine then the rest of us can be nines does that work well, that still wouldn't work because then who would the second prettiest girl so then every, be? You? So then, in so you, then everyone would have to go down one number, correct? Well, no. So here's how it would work. Then I'll explain. If she's a ten, and you that I, mean, I would just ask you, are you the the second prettiest girl in the room? No. Then who is? <laughs> I don't. Here, I, I do need to start moving things along yeah, a I little bit I here, wasn't... but. I got a little bit on this. So I, you said that all women are tens or should be I tens would hope or, that all women, all women, when they get asked a question like that, I hope that they could feel about, mm-hmm. I feel, I wish they could feel like a 10. You think it should be the same for men too? Are all men tens? I think when men feel and act as their tens, they're more pleasant to be around than just That's being true. like, really? Yeah. yeah. Just because it's just how you carry yourself at the end of the day a confident man is i would take a confident a confident man that's not as good looking as a super good what like, if he's not confident no, and he's so just true. delusional you don't know any guys who think they're hot shit but they're not oh, of course definitely but isn't but that good being for them. confident but good, but for, good them. for them i feel like good you don't for clown them. dudes like that i don't i don't sit up in their faces and i don't entertain them but good for them if you feel good about yourself this is your but life they're a 10. I I mean I. You can't be for everybody. That's a ten. Okay, yeah. so not. But are are all men tens? If they feel like that, I can't tell someone what they are. Okay. That's so, why I can't sit up in here and say, "Oh, you're this, you're that, you're that." I'm not. Well, it's like, interesting because you said so. You said that well, all women should view themselves as I tens. Would hope I think they all would. the. I, did you say that all the you think all the women here are tens? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is something that's interesting to me. So I think it's the case that more women than men will reject hierarchies. So basically, like if we're looking at capitalism, for example, so this is what gets you every girl is a 10 and participation trophies. Everybody's a winner. Everybody's special. This is what gets you. This is what gets you communism. This whole this is how communism actually started. This is how communism started is women were like, we're all fucking hotties, we're all bad bitches, we're all tens. Everyone gets a trophy. And then, you know, women are, they're overwhelmingly vote for leftist politicians and policies. You know? I think that's the origination of communism, really, because you reject hierarchies. I just think if I were to sit here and say, oh, you Y'all reject hierarchies. I just think if I were to sit here and say, you're a four, you're a two, I think that would drop me from a ten to a piece of shit. Well, honestly. okay. Honestly. I got I just yeah, but I mean, that. we're I'm not really not looking do... for. But and you I just asked that women me, can make the who's a lot. the best looking? I'm not going to do that. Like, yeah, I, I understand. I'm just saying, I think that that women will often do this a lot too, where when you're asking the question, you're just basing it on physical beauty, right? You're not basing it on anything except the physical. And I think that often women will say, "Well, wait, there's a package that comes with this. What about the personality? What about the other external traits? This type of thing." Uh, but that's really not what the question's alluding to is what's on the inside. Just it's purely uh, the perspective of what's on the outside. That's what the question is alluding to. Okay. That's why you can say that there's other and people who you've seen objectively who you think are prettier than you. That makes sense to me. Yeah, and I'm just like my stance is I would not sit here and tell a girl she's a four. I just wouldn't. Mm. But but can you admit that there could be women in the room who you do think are a four? That you just wouldn't say it, but you do think no. It. I'll just say this, fuck it. I'm just throwing it out there. There's no tens and nines in the room tonight. That's it. For you. Okay, for, oh shit, okay, you want, you want to squabble over this? No. Not a nine, not a 10, not a 10. No, I'm, I'm sorry, like, y'all are lovely, I love you guys, great personalities. 
No, 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 sorry, not nine, not a 10, not a 10. Sorry, just throwing it out there. Your perception isn't reality, though. Well, and well it could I could be just vice turn versa. that back on Exactly, you. exactly, okay. yeah. I agree. It's okay, I'm I just mean, like, I'm a mid. But I'm then every, mid. but you have to know, it's too, okay. every person would Don't give someone, if you, we lined up 100 women and they all rated you, they wouldn't have, you wouldn't have the same number across the board. Actually, yeah. interestingly enough, <laughs> I just want to let you know, me. have you ever heard of the idea of the collective vote actually being more accurate? It's, it's actually a strange phenomenon. So if you were to take a cow, for instance, and th there's experiments done on this, I don't remember exactly what the terminology is for it, but if you would take a cow at a county fair. Dylan Lolly donated $200. Sorry, sorry, yeah, no Late problem. 30s. You mean when you can only give us one kid that's high risk? 18 to 24 with. Thank you, Dylan. Go, go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, so if you, if you were to take a cow at a county fair and you ask each individual to guess at the weight, right? Um, most of them will get it wrong. But then if you average all their answers, you actually get really close to whatever the truth is. That's what you, what's interesting about that experiment. So the same thing would likely happen if you lined Brian up and you had women honestly rate him across the board. I think you're right. You would get varied answers. Some would say maybe a six. Uh, a couple would say ten. Uh, two might say eight. And then, you know, a bunch say four. And then if you averaged up all those answers, I bet that you would come to the conclusion that what Brian rates himself at as, I think you said a five, right? Yep. Or a five. six or whatever. Five. I think that you would end up some hitting points. really close to a five. I, or, you know, I think that that would probably end up being the average. Well, that's the average, but that's still not, an, an, like, if you're lining up a bunch of women, it's not. Well, what it alludes to is that there might be some objective standard here that we're all utilizing, right? I'm just saying that, so say a few people think he's a 10, like, you're not going to convince them. That no, that no, I, I agree with that. So that's but what, what I'm saying, saying is, you can sit here and say, oh, you guys, you're not yeah. this, you're not that. And it's like, okay, well, to you, you know? But there must be an objective standard uh, to some degree, because otherwise, how could people guess collectively very close to what the cow is, right? Basically, what all of them are saying is, I associate your, the cow being big with weight. And so I'm going to guess higher because I associate that objective standard of weight as being true, right? So they're able to guess with some accuracy. There must be some objective standard that they're appealing to. The same thing must be true with beauty if we come to kind of the same similar conclusion across the board. Wait, I got to come in on something really quick on this. So like you said, some girls would call me a 10. Here's the crazy thing is I'm so sure I'm not a 10, I would call them retarded if they called me a 10. <laughs> I know I, I'm not supposed to say that shit, but I, I would tell the girl, bro, are you, I would look at her, like, call me a 10 right now. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. Yeah, Go ahead. 10. Are you retarded? Are you okay? You want to talk to a doctor? What's up? See, that's what I would do. And because I think as men, we never receive compliments. And I almost feel this would be more of a common occurrence in women because y'all get bombarded with like simps and dudes complimenting you all the time your girlfriend's gassing you up men rarely receive compliments but even i'm self-aware enough to be like this person's just trying to flatter me there's no world where some chick's like yeah man brian with the dad bod and the kind of you know he's got a bit of rosacea and he's got a little dandruff he's a fucking 10 bro no it ain't happening son yeah. it ain't happening yeah. but i feel like girls you're more better attuned to when a dude's trying to flatter you you know when guys are trying to flatter you so wouldn't you almost be more aware if somebody actually women like don't even like really when guys compliment y'all because you know they're trying to hit you know they're trying to hit so wouldn't you be more <laughs> attuned to the fact that these guys are just like when they if they call you a 10 they're like eh it's kind of bullshit. They're just trying to hit, you know? Well, yes, because men are very loose. Ejaculate, evacuate. That's yeah. what they're trying to do. Yeah, well, I think men. Ejaculate, are... evacuate. Okay, sorry. Is that your motto? He no, said, I'm he said actually, that's a real I, right there. Listen, listen, I prefer long term relationships, okay? Yeah, I like to ejaculate and stay there for a couple months, <laughs> preferably, at least a couple months. Do you, are you more monogamous then, or you like to swing? Um, swing? Huh? Or be I'm a polygamous? One girl, I'm a one girl kind of guy. Okay. If you and me were dating, all, it's a wrap on the other chicks. There's no other, first off, there's no other chicks. There's no other chicks. Wrap on the other chicks, okay? Okay. So yeah, you ejaculate and you stay there for a couple months until <laughs> she starts nagging you and then you just, you know, find a different girl. Oh. I'm kidding. It's not. Sure. So no nagging. Huh? No nagging. 
No, no, I don't no. like quarrelsome women. Proverbs twenty one nineteen. Better to live in a. Hold on. Let me start. Let me start over. Wait. Proverbs twenty one nineteen. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife. Boom. Quoted. <laughs>